Oh yeah. Perfect little dead. Throw all the tree for it. This is gonna make a good one. Nate Marling from Marling Baits. Uh, you might know him. He's probably one of my favorite YouTubers. He really inspired me to make a YouTube channel. I'll have his channel linked in the description. Um, today we're gonna make him a slingshot out of this oversized guava tree fork. His last couple videos, um, he's put some clips on there of him shooting a slingshot. So I thought I'd make him one. From what I can tell, he shoots a hammer grip. Dad? Oh, I'm filming. Yeah, we're gonna make him a hammer, hammer grip slingshot. I DM'd him for what he likes for fork with and everything, but he didn't answer, so I'm just gonna wing it. Look at that mean crack. Yeah, let's get started on this thing. I've also never made a hammer grip OTT, so this is gonna be a first for me. This is gonna be a good one. I'm so excited for you, Nate. Yeah. We're gonna cut this thing down a little bit, get it to a little bit more manageable size. Got both sides flattened. Um, now I'm gonna kinda think about what uh, shape I'm gonna do. Sunset, so we're gonna go fishing. Bonus fishing. In honor of Marling Bates, we're gonna use a homemade lure. I made this a couple days ago. Here we go. Let's do this. I'm gonna walk down over there and try to catch a popa. Do a cat pull cast off here. Yeah. Didn't Didn't it. Oh, on. Freaking lizard fish. Yeah, first cast. But that's not what we're after. going something that is the smallest dragon fish I think I've ever caught look at how it's the same size as the lure in the water oh that was a fish okay that's it I'm gonna start drawing out the shape on this thing.
Just got the shape all rasped out. Um, I have the sander. I can sand the shape out, but it tends to turn out better if I just rasp it. It takes a little longer, but I paid better attention to detail. Um, this thing's pretty comfortable. I made it to shoot hammer, but it's really comfortable with this grip too. So you can shoot hammer or thumb brace. I think it's called. yeah, thumb brace. I like it when my my tip. Last step for the day, because it's kind of getting late, we are going to fill in these imperfections with some super glue and baking, super glue and baking soda. There you go, there's Marling Bates' super glue and baking soda hack. Cracks are all filled. Super glue and baking soda. Uh, it's perfectly smooth, nice and level. And it's past sunset now, probably around seven. I just started working on this thing at three. So we'll pick this thing up tomorrow and we'll finish it. I'm gonna start working on the tips. Um, I didn't leave myself much material to work with with the tips, but they're on there. Starting with 150. Next up, 220. Four hundred. Last piece of sandpaper, 1500 grit. Just finished sanding this thing with 2500 grit. This is probably so far my best one, I'm not gonna lie. It's just really comfortable. I mean, I'm gonna have to shoot it first, but definitely one of the most comfortable ones I made. Last step. We're gonna throw some boiled linseed oil. Well, not last step, I still have to buff it and everything, but going over with some boiled linseed oil. Quick look before the boiled linseed oil. Well, oh, there it is. Holy crap. Sheesh. Ah. That's a good one. The grain on the guava wood's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna let this oil seep in and then we're gonna go buff it. Marling Bates, Nate, I'm happy for you. I wish I wish it was mine, but it's all you, buddy. Thanks for inspiring me. I hope Nate knows how to do the wrap and tuck method for tying on bands.
Bands are all tied up. They are a 23 to 12 point six with uh, one of these pit pouches. So, yeah, we're gonna go outside and do a couple shots with it. Okay, here we go. First shot with Nate's slingshot. We're gonna be shooting nine and a half millimeter steel balls, and our first target is a little quarter. It's just sitting on the top of that post. And we are at 15 yards. First ever shot with this thing. That was really close. Sorry, Mom. Got it. Okay, next couple targets, we got a spoon on this post quarter and then a little bigger spinner thing hanging then down there. We're gonna go for the little metal spinner or yeah. Okay and now we're gonna go for the quarter. Got it. Oh that hit the gutter. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Three shots in a row. This thing's pretty accurate. Um kind of sad that I'm sending it away, but it's to a good person. Mm -hmm. We got bigger spinner, quarter, dime, the size of my thumbnail pretty much. There we go. 15. Fairly high. That was low when I hit the spoon, so that does not count. Cool. You remember the orange thing we set up? Gone. I love it. My hair is whack. These bands are perfect too. I made them a little longer because he's probably taller than me. For sure taller than me. So I made them for a six, in, six foot draw length or not six foot draw length. Um, it's the right draw length for a six foot man. Okay. The quarter, you're not gonna be able to see it. Okay, it's not facing like this, it's sideways. I'm gonna hit it though. <laughs> Nate, if you're missing, sorry to tell you, but it's not the slingshot. Can you guys see the catch point? Change angles. Hit. Last shot, I'm gonna go for the spinny bird. Missed. I forgot I made this to shoot hammer grip, like this. I've been shooting it with a thumb brace which is what I normally do. Let's try hammer. Oh, hammer is nice too. I mean, I like thumb brace better, but that's just because I'm used to thumb brace. Hammer is comfortable. And I'm a lot more steady. Wait, let's try thumb brace now. Yeah. It's super smooth, like after you release, it's got a good feel. And I just smoked that thing. Okay, let's go set up another dime. Okay, here we go. Dime on the piece of clay. Step back. First shot. <laughs> uh, I was scared for my camera. I'm not doing that again. I don't want to risk my good camera. I gotta find the dime. Okay, we're gonna go from a dime to another steel ball. Was that a hit or was that the clay? I think it was a hit, but I don't know. If you ever need good targets, go to the dollar store, buy a couple spoons. They stick in the ground, and they're just fun to shoot at. Look at that. 
five spoons, 15 yards. Dead center. Dead center. Got him. Got him. Five spoons. Let's go set him up again. Last five shots of the day, gonna be on those five spoons. Three, one. Two. I hit that. I hit it again and didn't move. Three. Okay, I did not hit that one. Four. <laughs> By the way, they're hitting my house, not anybody else's. Five. That is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the making of Nate Marling's new slingshot. Once again, his channel will be link linked in the description. It's really comfortable, shoots good. Probably one of my best ones, if not my best one. Sad it's going away, but he's gonna have fun with it. Um, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for that. This is kind of a 2,000 subscriber giveaway, except he didn't apply and I'm choosing the winner. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. And Nate, if you're watching this, good luck. Shoot good. And I'll be sending this to you soon. Bye. Can't stop it yet. I have a quarter to hit. Cody. Ah!